And now it's my pleasure to move to Kathy Hawkins, Manager of Inclusion, Newfoundland and Labrador, Professional Certification Website Accessibility from University of South Australia, President of the Disabled Women's Network of Canada and member of the International Association of Accessibility. And I want to thank you for bringing our wonderful interpreters, Sandra and our English interpreter to the screen to make our Feminist Forum 4 accessible. Kathy, welcome to the screen. Kathy Hawkins. Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks so much to the organizers for inviting me to be a part of the panel. I'm just honored to be included with such an esteemed group of leaders. I would like to highlight that this event is actually taking place during National Accessibility Awareness Week and National Indigenous Accessibility Awareness Week. Thanks to the organizers for the inclusion and the accessibility features available. Please don't hesitate to reach out to me if you require this presentation in French. Next slide, please. Founded in 1985, the Disabled Women's Network of Canada is a national feminist human rights organization with a cross-disability intersectional lens. Our mission is to end the poverty, isolation, discrimination, and violence experienced by women with disabilities and women who are deaf and hard of hearing. Dawn Canada is an organization that works towards advancement and inclusion of all women and girls with disabilities by creating systemic change. This includes building strategic partnerships, producing research, reports, education programs, and teaching tools, as well as calling for policy level change. As noted in this slide, our, focus for, our work focuses on four fundamental pillars, research, education, policy, and advocacy. True to our roots, Don Canada lifts the voices of women with disabilities by ensuring that we are represented in spaces where decision-making takes place. Next slide, please. The Don Canada team, under the leadership of our National Executive Director, Bonnie Brayton, have been leaders through the COVID pandemic by amplifying the voices, issues, and barriers of women with disabilities have experienced. The images on this slide are just a, a few examples of articles, projects, and research that we have completed over this past year. In 2021, we are culminating 35 years of service and we are mapping our future in our 10 year vision for change plan. We have been working with other civil society organizations through participation in federal government advisory committees and have collaborated with community partners to host as well as participate in numerous meetings, activities and events around COVID. Our most recent work included facilitating a Canada wide group of subject matter experts on gender based violence to provide insights and recommendations on the National Action Plan to end gender-based violence for Minister Monsap and women and gender equality. We have been busy and I would strongly encourage you to visit our website uh, to take a further look at what we've accomplished. Next slide, please. Don Canada has been leaders through the COVID pandemic. We have conducted research and presented a parliamentary brief to the Standing Committee on the Status of Women on the impacts of COVID-19 on women with disabilities and deaf women in Canada. We have also partnered with the University of Guelph Live Work Well Research Centre to complete a disability inclusion analysis on lessons learned and best practices of the Government of Canada responses to the COVID pandemic. Throughout this research, an intersectional disability gender analysis of the lens was applied to ensure interviews and focus groups included a high proportion of diverse women with disabilities. This research had two key findings. People with disabilities were invisible, despite the fact of complexity in living conditions, placed them at a greater risk. And people with disabilities had difficulty meeting day-to-day -day needs. Next slide, please. Women with disabilities had unique challenges in a number of areas throughout COVID. If we were to look at caregiving, of course, it's quite clear that when we talk with, about women with COVID, caregiving is a key issue as it has impact on women who are both caregivers and care receivers. Employment, income were also issues that were significantly impacted for women with disabilities during COVID. And of course of utmost importance is the increased rates in gender-based violence for women with disabilities, which is currently twice the level of non-disabled women. This has increased due to isolation during COVID. 
Last slide, please. Thank you. As we continue to navigate through this pandemic and beyond, Don Canada will continue to be strong leaders, ensuring that women with disabilities are at every decision-making table with our voices amplified and strong. As I mentioned earlier, this is National Accessibility Awareness Week and National Indigenous Accessibility Week. And if I were to leave you with a strong message today, I would like to highlight themes being promoted during this week. Leaving nobody behind. And if it's not accessible, it is just not acceptable. Thank you. Je vous remercie infiniment. Kathy, thank you so very much. And now,